Some thoughts from the streets of Beijing there on uh, the, that apparent declining level of fitness amongst high school students in China. And before we go today, time for some reaction from a Chinese cartoonist uh, to the tragic deaths of five young children in a garbage container recently. Uh, our cartoonist today is Xiao Huixiong. This comes from uh, his Weibo camp, but actually through the uh, China Media Project. That's a project based in Hong Kong University uh, who published this cartoon. And if we have a look at it here, we can see, uh, well, a, a fall or a winter scene there. It's cold. The uh, leaves have fallen off the trees, uh, blowing around on the ground. Uh, some kids happily getting into a garbage uh, dumpster there. Uh, it's a night time, uh, it's cold as we can see one of the children there is shivering and they're inviting that little chap there with the three hairs on his head and a, a little uh, a wrap of, of belongings over him barefoot there into, to come into the bin with them. Um, now briefly this has to do with that tragic story of uh, five children who died in a garbage dumpster recently uh, in the town of uh, Bidzie in uh, Guizhou, one of China's remoter or more poor provinces. But uh, that boy there being taken in, we should explain, is San Mao. He's uh, an extremely famous, one of the best known and best loved Chinese cartoon characters. Uh, he was a homeless street kid. It was actually created by uh, an artist called Zhang Leiping in the 1930s, partly to draw attention to the uh, thousands if not hundreds of thousands of homeless kids at that time in the 30s and 40s. It was a time of invasion and uh, revolution, hunger and chaos. And San Mao was a little sort of uh, rapscallion urchin who, who managed to get by, uh, did what he could to survive, but he was always poor and hungry. And um, one of the longest, actually, longest running cartoon characters has been represented in several formats, uh, including in animation. Uh, San Mao actually meaning three hairs. Those are the three hairs in his head, which sort of show that he's uh, not in great health. Now, these uh, these homeless children actually first reported as homeless, but uh, more recently it seemed that they were runaways, that they had left their home on November the 5th, and they lived, uh, they were all relatives, uh, the names, uh, the family name was Tao, uh, the children of three brothers who were working as migrant workers, uh, all working on the land, didn't have enough time, they'd been left in the care of their blind grandmother, and basically had run a little bit wild, uh, ran around the streets uh, as almost homeless kids. Um, it was reported by local police there that what happened was they got into the bin, tried to light a fire of some sort to keep themselves warm in the cold and died of a carbon monoxide poisoning. It's led to widespread uh soul searching in China about uh, particularly about the the fact that while many in the country are doing so well uh, huge riches are seen that at the same time there are still these sort of uh, little match girl type characters uh, so reminiscent of that character San Mao who are living in such desperate circumstances and uh, in fact uh, eight mid-ranking officials in the area of BJ have been sacked uh, for not uh, apparently doing their duty in terms of keeping an eye on homeless kids and why they actually fell through the gaps and weren't noticed. Uh, in, in a post uh, accompanying that cartoon, uh, the cartoonist Xiao Hui Xiong uh, has written, When I read about five homeless children dying in a dumpster, I thought of Master Zhang Leping's Adventures of San Mao. So it turns out that even in this age of splendor, there are countless San Maos that require our care. Uh, and once again, the cartoon is reinforcing that uh, connection with uh, those uh, children who died uh, in desperate circumstances, and San Mao, uh, that beloved character of the 1930s, uh, who lived also in, in difficult times. And that is uh, the take of our cartoonist uh, Xiao Hui Xiong on uh, the tragic death of those children in the town of Bijie in southern China.